Right, so it's official. Liverpool have appointed Jürgen Klopp as their new manager to take over from Brendan Rodgers. So I thought I'd make a video of my thoughts on the move. So first of all, is this a better manager than Brendan Rodgers? Of course so. Is he going to improve Liverpool? Of course so. Alright, but I'm going to go through the pros and cons and maybe the reasons for why he could be a success, which he probably will be, and what a success is. And what you know if he's gonna not be a success essentially, but any essentially anyway, let's get into this. So obviously he led Dortmund to an incredible Champions League final. He won the league with them, etc. He he knows how to build a team, and that's the key thing. All right, he has to be given free room of transfers because that's what he's good at. He's good at getting these you know lesser known players developing them because he's a brilliant man manager and then making them world-class players he did this with players such as Royce who was starting to make a name for himself in the Bundesliga he signed him up and then he made him just that little bit better also he's a big name manager so players will want to go to Liverpool to play under Klopp now I can see Liverpool fans already getting excited like oh Bomian, Royce, Laporte all these big name players I don't think they're going to get that caliber of player, especially in the first season, all right? Maybe in season two or three, if they can, you know, get Champions League, get a steady, uh, you know, a steady, I don't know what the word is, like, just basically become a little bit better than what they are, then maybe they can. But I think the highest caliber of player at the minute that they could probably get is Gundogan, who would be fantastic for them. I know they'd probably prefer someone like a winger, but I don't think they'll get someone of the caliber of Royce or Aubameyang because at the minute they're, they're in Europa and they do well this season to finish fifth. No matter who the manager is, Jürgen Klopp is fantastic, but this season fifth would be a great achievement for Liverpool. Considering the squad they've got now, it's got so many dead links, you know, he's going to have to do a massive uh, job. It's going to be a process, or a <laughs> Louis van Gaal's favourite uh, word, but yeah, it's a bit like Louis van Gaal. He inherited a squad that had so much dead wood, he had to get rid of it, he had to siphon off the crap, and then he had to bring in his players, and yes, it's taken time, and it's a transitional phase, so Liverpool, this project with Klopp, they need to give him time, and they need to give him free reign, reign of transfers to become better. If they can just gradually, you know, move up the table and try and compete with the top teams a little bit more every season, then they could be a success again. And we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm being as unbiased as possible. Obviously, I don't want it to happen, but it could, all right? If they finish fifth, that's an improvement of last season because they finished sixth. They could finish fourth if Chelsea keep performing as badly as they are, then they could scrape fourth. But if you look at their next five fixtures, I think they've got teams such as City, they've got Spurs, they've got Southampton who are doing well. They've got, uh, I think, someone like Swansea. You know, they've got really difficult games. I think they've got Palace away. And uh, yeah, they do well to win two out of those five, to be honest. No matter who the manager is, it'll give the squad a lift. But this season is just, you know, a rebuilding process. And Jürgen Klopp, I'm sure, will try and start that in January. And then the first summer he gets, if he's got free reign of transfers, there'll be a lot of ins and outs at Liverpool. And then next season, maybe they can start to form a squad, which is probably what he wants to do. Now, obviously, in his last season at Dortmund, it wasn't really plain sailing. No one really knows why. There was a lot of injuries, but it just didn't work for whatever reason. And I think they eventually finished seventh. So he he's, he obviously can fail himself, even with world-class players. At the minute, he's going to have to get used to the Liverpool squad. And it, it, he's just going to have to be given time because a lot of Liverpool fans are getting giddy, all right? And yeah, that's fair enough. You've signed a brilliant manager, all right? World-class. But... It, it's not going to instantly improve your squad, all right? It's going to take time. Maybe maybe he will surprise people and get results from the off, but that would be exceptional with the squad he's got. So the, the fans need to give him a bit of time, like the Liverpool fans, and uh, they need to let him adapt to English football as well. That's another key point. Can he adapt to English football? Because it is played a lot well, it's a lot more defensive, all right? Like, defences are a lot better, so how is he going to combat that, etc.? How is he going to ingrain that into the players? I'm sure he already knows all this, and I think he will be a success. Do I think, this is the key question, do I think Liverpool will win the title under Jürgen Klopp? No. And the reason for that, no matter how good the manager is, they are behind 
Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal and Chelsea, all right? All four of those teams are exceptionally rich, all right? All four of those teams have a better caliber of players in terms of the, the rest of the squad. Obviously, there's, there's certain dead links in each of the teams. Well, not really Man City, but the other three, there certainly is. But the other four have Champions League at the minute, uh, even though it looks as though Arsenal might be heading out and maybe another English team or two might be. But still, they have the Champions League quota and they also have ridiculous amounts of money. So for Liverpool to become better, they're going to have to overtake one of those teams and then, you know, obviously they're going to have to overtake them all to win the title. So that's why I do not think they will win the title under Jürgen Klopp. Do I think they can challenge for it? Not for the first two seasons because he's, he's got a rebuilding process, but after that, maybe season three, four, if he's been successful, he's, he's got them high up, he's signed some great players, then maybe they can challenge for it, but I don't think they'll win it for the fact that the other teams, it's so much more competitive. I mean, you're looking at other teams that are further down, like West Ham and Swansea, they're, they're making so so much progress, it's crazy. So they're going to start challenging for top six, and it's just becoming harder and harder. Everton, Spurs, you've got so many teams that are spending money because of the TV rights, so it's going to be a really, really hard process for Jürgen Klopp. I think he will be successful, and maybe a cup run, all right? Maybe he can win a cup, like a Cup to One Cup, an FA Cup. Maybe he can win Europa League, or, well, I was going to say Champions League, but yeah, you'd have to qualify for that, and I don't think they'll be winning that as well. But maybe Europa League, maybe a Cup to One Cup, an FA Cup. Not in the first season. I don't think he'll win anything in the first season. Fifth? and maybe a semi-final or quarter-final, etc. That would be a success for Liverpool. Second season, maybe pushing on from there, make sure they're in top four. Second season, I think top four would be the priority. They need to be back in the Champions League because, you know, for that big name, sorry, that big club status, which is what they want to become again, they're going to have to get Champions League. And then maybe, you know, a semi-final again or a final. And then in year three, maybe he can win some silverware and maybe he can challenge. But again, it depends on so many different factors. Can he, can he develop English talent, for example, because that's a new... Uh, rule from the FA, you need to get all the English talent in and yeah, th there doesn't seem to be too much at the minute. Can he cope in England? That's a big question. Um, and also, how are the teams around uh, Liverpool going to react to this and how are they going to improve their squads and can they contrast and balance etc. We'll see. But is it an improvement on Brendan Rodgers? Certainly. And do I think they're going to be more successful than Brendan Rodgers was? The only cup he lifted was that plastic cup, which I used on the thumbnail. That's obviously a well-known joke, but it, it's true. In 1,221 uh, days, I think, and 300 million spent, he didn't win a title. Do I think Jürgen Klopp will? Probably. He'll probably win the Cup the One Cup or the FA Cup in his third year, in my opinion, if he's a success, which I think he will be. Is he, is he better than Rodgers, essentially? Yes. And do I think Liverpool will become a better team under Jürgen Klopp? Yes. Do I think they'll win the title, though? No. That is my opinion, but let me know what you think. I've tried to be as unbiased as possible. I've tried to back up with reasons. I haven't really put too much fact. It's opinion-based. So uh, let me know. It's a discussion. Obviously, you might have a different opinion. Let me know in the comment section. And yeah, peace.